This is Cameron Chai bringing another episode of Azo TV, and today I'm speaking to Dennis Cousel from Bruker, and he's going to tell us about their CETR Apex system. Hi, uh, good afternoon. Uh, this is the Apex system from uh, Bruker TMT, and the basic function for this tool is to perform nano and micro indentation to um, get the material properties, especially the mechanical properties, uh, like harness and young modules of the materials and coatings. Um, this is the Apex um, configuration for Nano. Uh, it uh, set up with three main components. As you can see here in the front, you have the optical microscope. Behind this, we have the Nano head, you can see from the bottom. This is the shaft where we can attach the Berkovich indenter. And next to it, we have the AFM. Uh, the sample is normally uh, set up on a puck. Uh, it's a metal cylinder and is mounted on this XY table. And basically, between the three components, we can uh, set up the test such, in such way that initially with the optical microscope, we determine the position for the indenter. Next to it, uh, we produce the indentation, and after that, we can scan the indents with the AFM. This is, how, as I'm saying, the nano configuration. We, in our system, we have the particularity that is very flexible and modular. So it's very easy if we want to do micro indentation, which is a higher level, up to two newtons. Uh, we just need to remove this knobs here, disconnect, and then we can remove the whole unit just like this and then we can put a similar unit for micro indentation. Uh, as I mentioned for nano the load range is up to 500 millinewtons for micro indentation it can go all the way up to two newtons but the micro head that we have uh, has the capability of up to uh, 20 newtons uh, for the nano head, the resolution, uh, the load resolution is uh, 0.03 micronewtons and for the micro head, the resolution is up to uh, 5 micronewtons. Okay? Uh, normally with the software, once we do the indentation, uh, we can have uh, the software is going to create uh, a chart like this where you can see that they have many indentations at different load levels and at each indentation level we can see a, a mark in here where it can produce the hardness and the young modules at that indentation level for this material okay and for the AFM this is typically the type of um, image that you can um, get with the AFM in which you can uh, determine the type of indentation, the pile up, and the sink in of the indentation. And Des, what sort of materials do people usually use this system for? Uh, we can, the normally for nano indentation and micro indentation are used mostly for thin films. Uh, in the case of nano indentation, the thin films, if the coating is about five microns or less, we use the nano indentation. Whenever it is uh, 20 microns or more, we can use the micro indentation. Uh, it also depends on the material level. We can use it for polymers, metals, and ceramics. So do people usually use this for things like semiconductors, photovoltaics, exactly. and things like that? Biomaterials, semiconductors, uh, for let's say solar panels. It has for coatings, hard coatings especially like DLCs, diamond-like mm -hmm. uh, coatings, and that type of things. Right, Dennis, and anybody, if anybody wants uh, more information on the CETR APEC system, they can find that on your website? Yes, exactly. We can go to www.brooker-axs.com. Uh, okay. All right, Dennis, thanks very much for telling us about the CETR APEC system. Thank you.